you just yet, but we'll say hello. Okay, I'm gonna share. Yeah, there's no viewers. Okay, I'm gonna so. share the. Hello, everybody. Welcome Sunday. Welcome viewers. It's uh. I have to get over here. Don't. Where's the camera? Right there. Oh. I moved it back so we could see more of us. All right, I'm gonna turn this off so we don't look at it ourselves too much. Hi, everybody. It's Ben's Break Design. I'm Ben. This is Beth. We're actually Hi. going I'm, to be I'm awake. doing stuff. Yeah, she's awake. She's feeling better than she was last week. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be uh, doing some some building and some chatting and hopefully uh, get through these two sets. I probably will get through mine in about an hour, 45 minutes. Maybe Beth will be a little longer. Be plenty of time to sit and talk about weddings and things that have been happening recently, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we have a lot to say about weddings. Yes, we do. So we recently, so before we start, no beers today because it's Sunday, but uh, cheers, we're gonna have some because coffee. Because it's the Lord's Day? Well, it's Sunday morning. It's Sunday morning, I don't drink beer in, on, oh, in the morning. Oh, did you put some uh, Kraken in that coffee? Mm -mm. Although that's a good idea, I may go do that. I'm so smart. Um, Hey, we got our first Russian bot before we even got an actual guest. Nice. Hi, Russian bot. Hi, Koopa. It's Russian. Koopa. Koopa, Koopa Ryobi. Ryobi. Yeah. yeah. So, as many of you probably saw recently, and I need to go back through and look at all the comments for the live stream, um, we recently got our vows renewed uh, on the anniversary of our wedding, but it was like as a big... Shh, shh. Sorry, renewed. I wasn't shushing you. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to... <laughs> Sorry. You trying to share stuff? <laughs> yes, I think I shared it. Anyways, go ahead. Sorry. Um, so we got um, the vows renewed slash big wedding ceremony that we weren't able to have last year. Luckily, we or luckily, and we planned it. What's up, Glenn? Um, hey, Glenn. Did it on the 14th again, which means that uh, our anniversary is still the 14th, which I think works out great. Except we won't know whether next year to celebrate the one year or the two year. No, it's, it'll be the two year next year because we legally got married okay. a year ago. Um, but we did it. I, I don't mean, know why I'm showing these we, because... We've had them for a year. I'm yeah. practically bald. I know. I got like so many inches cut off and I completely forgot to do the locks of love thing. Yeah. I'm so mad. I was totally going to do that. You may not that. have cut off enough. I think they need 10 inches. Yeah. I think you probably caught six. Probably, yeah, yeah. It's not that much. Um, but yeah, she got a haircut. Who's Pretzel Rocks? Is that a... That's this. That's just telling you what song is playing. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, today we're going to be building uh, Brickhead's Bride and Grooms. Uh, we were going to do this last week, but... Are you building mine, or...? That'd be fun. Do you want to build each other's? Sure, like we did the rings. Yeah, so I'll be building a bride, she'll be building a groom. This is nothing to say this is the ideal bride or groom. This is just whatever, right? Are these, are there like different options? So yeah, what happens is you get a, a ton of pieces and they all have different skin colors and different hairs and styles and stuff and you get to pick. So there's a base body, but then you get to pick the head. Oh. So this may be a little more complicated. I think that looks like Billy D. Williams. Doesn't he have a mustache? He does. And he also, he needs a, there's a ring, but give him a little bottle of Colt 45 yeah. or something. But if I'm supposed to make this look more like you, this guy. That, but with lighter hair maybe. Yeah. Yeah, and, and a beard, and I don't know, I mean, that's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. So there's all kinds of different things. Interesting. So let's pop these open and see what it looks like. All right, like. pop these babies open. Uh, so good morning, everybody. Like Ben and Will did years ago. Oh, I was going to suggest y'all oh, build yeah. each other. Like, I was like, I thought you were talking about the wedding, Glenn. I was very confused. I thought there was something in Ben's history that I wasn't aware of. So let me show you this if you've not seen. I've seen it. Um, when Will, and I'm not, I'm nowhere near the mic. When Will and I tried out for Lego Masters a couple years ago, we built each other. So that's Will, he, and he's holding a t-shirt because he's a t-shirt designer and he's got his, he usually wears like green or he wears like trucker hats and stuff. Yes, we did have a lovely ceremony. And here's me Thank with- Thank you. Ben and Will had such a lovely oh, ceremony. Oh, yes, they did, sorry. Hi, Brad. Good morning. And there's Mariana's. Oh, Mariana's Bricks. Hi. Is so that's the Walter person from uh, Portugal. Hi, Walter. Is that his Walter name? and Mariana. Hi, Walter and Mariana. Thank you for viewing our wedding. I saw all of your wonderful comments. So here's, and that's me with my Dragon Ball shirt and a beard and a microphone for karaoke. So these are the things we built 
as audition pieces for Lego Masters. So, but we built each other. So he built this one and I built him. So that was kind of fun. Okay. And that's what we're gonna be doing now. I'm already having my first problem. Which is what? Can't get the tape off. Well, you don't have to take the tape off. Just cut it. That way it doesn't rip the box if you wanna keep the box. But nobody keeps these boxes. I'm following a TikTok uh, guy. Also, the mic's a little farther away, so let me know how the sound is, if the music's too loud or if you can't hear us. Um, I will turn one down or turn one up. Or... So I'm following this dude on TikTok who used to work at Lego, and he's kind of giving all these um, tidbits about what it was like to work at Lego. I don't know his name off. box just in here. Yeah, that's fine. I forget what his name is. Um, oh, Mariana enjoyed the wedding a lot. Good, Mariana. I'm so happy you guys were able to. Uh oh, did you mix? Don't cross the streams. Um, okay. I'm so happy that y'all were able to view it. It was um, a lovely time. Mm hmm. Do this. And you know, people told me that um, uh, I wouldn't remember a lot of it. I remember every bit of it. I was incredibly calm considering how high anxiety I am and how anxious I was before. Yeah. It must have been that extra dose of hydroxyzine. <laughs> okay. Also, my 20 bridesmaids helped keep me calm. Maybe reduce the music 10%. What does it mean that the signal's hot? Does it mean it's sexy? No, it means I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna turn the volume down on. <laughs> Okay, I know that a lot of you guys uh, who are watching are used to Lego, but I am not, other than Ben. And I don't know if they all have this. Let but me know if that's better. <laughs> it's got a little Lego man doing Lego. Yeah, this is like the, um, um, the, the oh God, Ikea guy where he's yeah. like, don't do this, do I it with love a friend. It. This, scratch, this scratch. one's scratching his head. It's that's... Like, don't do it all in one lump, do it in separated yeah. pieces. Why is that showing up? Why is what showing the up? The one at the bottom. This one? Yeah. It's a slideshow of all my micro fighters. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking at Glenn. You've been er, here before. Me? Plenty I'm hot talking. in that I don't have to max my box. Okay, cool. Do we open all of these at once? Are they numbered? Nope. How do you know which one to open first? You just put them in a, in a pile. Oh, they're all gonna get the... mixed up. Yep. You can move that out of the way if you want. I'll move it over here. Oh no, it's getting away. Did you see it went moving? It was like a tumbleweed. <clears throat> so. The wedding weekend was lovely. It was perfect. The weather, uh-oh. Okay. The weather was perfect. Um, no, she doesn't watch when I go live. I don't, I can hear you though. Uh-oh. Oh, you stepped on the cat. Oh no. Uh, no, I used to, um, but it was always weird because our house isn't that big. Um, and so I would watch and I could hear him talk and then I would hear it was like an echo and it was mm -hmm. really weird. But so I usually what, listen. What hair color do you want? Do you want blonde, brunette, or black? And they don't have redhead. Mm. I think that's a little gingerist. Probably brown. Okay, I'll do brown. Do you want brown for yours? Yeah, okay. I have brown hair. Um, who's building who? Ben's building me and I'm building him. Just like we made our rings. Have uh -huh. you talked about the rings on here? Uh, I think I have. So, if you aren't aware, um, the rings that we made. Um, Get close up. We, you can, that camera too, way up there. That's, um, we did our own rings. Um, we went to a, um, a jeweler slash like craft place where you can learn your own, how to forge your own rings or do your own jewelry in uh, in effect. A lot of uh, little metallurgy class kind of thing. Um, you basically get an ingot and melt it down and then you shape it and then you know size it and do all this stuff and then set a stone if you need to. 
Um, so we did that, and it's a lot of fun because I felt like I could imbue it with the power of my malice and my hatred and have it control all the other rings. Has it worked yet? No, it's, it's kind of a bust. I, I can't even control my cat. <laughs> so That was the real goal. That was the real goal. Of course, I needed nine rings to rule a cat. Hmm. With all the nine lives. I see. Yeah, it was super fun. It was like a whole day. Like we spent all day doing it. Um, mm -hmm. Broke for lunch, came back. And then um, we had to take them back and get them sized because I think the day we did them, they... Um, I, was it? I think we had retained a little salt from something because our fingers were a little puffy. So when we sized them... Or no, they were a little no, small. No, they were smaller yeah, so when we sized them. We were doing... We were in good shape, whatever it was, because we, we got them back after... Because we, we did them and then we... He did something and then we went back to pick him up or did we get him that day? Well, no, we got him that day and they fit fine for the wedding because, well, for the uh, legal ceremony because yours fit fine initially. Mine, I was having a hard time getting it on and off, but I ate no salt for like three weeks before the wedding. Oh, that's true. And it fit. And then after the wedding, it's like, we have to get these resized. Yeah, we cause both, we're both Cause like we've been eating like cheese and meats and Yep. Um, so, but that took like a couple weeks to get them back, and then they were fine. Yeah. So it was a, a highly recommended if you've got one in your area to uh, look up. Um, it's kind of like a co-op area. They've got uh, space set aside for people who are members or people who mm -hmm. just want to spend a day doing it. They could take a class on how to do metallurgy or stonework or any kind of um, jewelry making so it was very cool yeah highly recommend because and and the cost for the class and the materials wasn't any more than we would have spent just buying a ring right right it was very um comparable yeah like i know that there are people who have spent like ten thousand dollars on their rings and it was like all together, I think it was 3,000 for the class. It wasn't even that, was it? It was like 2,800 for the class and the rings. Yeah. And that's with a diamond too, so. Yeah, and an indication. actual diamond. I wasn't gonna get an actual diamond, but we it was less expensive than we thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Also, because there was a pandemic going on, um, we actually saved a lot of money in the pandemic. I'm not saying I'm happy there was a pandemic. I'm not, but. What do you mean we saved a lot of money in the pandemic? Because we didn't do anything. So we were oh, able yeah. to put more money in the savings. Yep. So how are things going in Brazil, Walter, Brazil. with the pandemic? Isn't that where... Or, Portugal. Oh, he's in Portugal. Never mind. I'm sorry. I keep thinking Brazil. Well, they speak Portuguese in Brazil. I know. I don't know why I keep thinking Brazil, though. Because of our friends who are Brazilian and who speak Portuguese. Oh, that might be it. Also, I literally just woke up like 15 minutes ago, I think. <clears throat> yep. And of course, Ben laughed at me because I had to put makeup on. He's like, you don't have to wear makeup. I'm like, people are going to be seeing this. I'm still, I need to stop playing with my hair. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, your hair is going to be, is going to be doing whatever, no matter what you do to it. But you know what? It feels great. I'm so happy that I got all that length taken off. I'm happy that we had it nice and uh, long for the wedding because then I had a little more options of what I can do. But uh, I'm happy it's gone. Yeah. Go visit um, Amy at Nerd Culture Cuts in uh, Round Rock. Mm -hmm. I guess it's technically in Round Rock. She's awesome. She's nerdy. And she's she in is, the nerd culture and she gives you haircuts. Yep. And she is very... Oh, they said the numbers are getting higher and higher there. Yeah, Europe is kind of having a, a tough go with things too. I think so, yeah. I guess everybody is. I think for a while, it was really like other countries... People in hospitals are still... That's good. Um, yeah, I think with Omicron, it's just normal that the numbers are going to be higher because it's so easily transmittable. But if you can keep people out of the hospital, that's like the big thing. Yeah. But I don't know how it is in Portugal, but uh, here in the United States, people just pretend like it's over. So, which is why... They've been doing that for like a year. Yeah, I mean, they, they were always doing that. Like... Like, not my freedom. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm confused. Okay. 
Well, you can change them out. Oh, that's two that goes there. Okay. I don't know why. Wow, 90% vaccinated. That's amazing. Yeah, that's really good. Can we move to Portugal? Will you guys adopt us? <laughs> um, John and Laura were going to move to Portugal. I wonder what I happened know. with their... their re we have friends whose retirement plan was to move to Portugal. Um, and I think they ended up not doing it because John's like, the beer selection out there is terrible. <laughs> oh, he would not do it no, because of the beer selection. He's like, I but you can get like... Not like Coors, but kind of like the low-end beers. He's like, you can oh. get beer for like a dollar, like a six-pack for like super cheap. doesn't he like Coors? He does. Yeah, I was going to say, John's taste in beer. John, if you're watching, I apologize, but... No, John, he knows his taste in beer is garbage. He likes Coors Banquet. He's like Johnny from Karate Kid. <laughs> um, But yeah, the problem here in the States, if I can get political is that people just don't care about people. Yeah, there's and no, there's I, no community, it's yeah. all individualism. And I wonder, I'm not quite familiar with Portugal. I should be, I would love to go someday. Um, but uh, I don't know if there's like a higher sense of community. Seems that a lot of Americans are coming to live in Portugal. A lot of Americans are jumping ship right now because things are so bad. I think our, um, long-term pipe dream uh flee the sinking ship idea is probably to go to canada yeah canada I, and honestly that's more because in canada there's not a uh, language barrier i yeah. think like there's other places i would like to go other than canada but i mean i don't know i mean we can move to newfoundland and there's a language barrier there we only get like half of well they speak saying. english it's just yeah they speak irish english yeah newfoundland's cold though New newfoundland, newfoundland newfoundland is cold though speaking of newfoundland uh we need to do our podcast again we do we really really do um it's been my fault ben's been trying to get me to do it but i've been so focused on the wedding i can't find this other piece what other piece? This. One of these things. So it's probably close to where you found the original one. I don't remember where I found the original one. That's why you keep them in oh. sort of piles. Oh. Because these are like really small pieces, slightly bigger pieces, slightly yeah. bigger pieces, bigger pieces. Glenn said too little empathy. That is absolutely true, Glenn. People are so worried about themselves. And and the thing is, is that like at this but point... Let's, let's celebrate the... the um, um, be amazed with the number of Portuguese that speak English. You know, that is, sorry, and then I'll let you get back no, to that. That right. is something that always amazes me about other countries. I went to Spain when I was in high school, and it was like an, a class trip. It was an immersion, immersion trip sort of thing where we would kind of, you know, be immersed in the language and learn some things. And everyone spoke English to us. And yeah, it's like... Sort of defeats the purpose. And even like little kid, like kids. And I'm like, why don't we do make this a thing in the States where we make people learn different languages? I think because as a superpower and as a uh, one whose banking and cultural centers are probably mm -hmm. global you become the default and it's hard to then pick another language that's not the default. Mm -hmm. You know, like if we if we lived in any other country, it's like I now speak, you know, French and, you know, if I was born in Indonesia, I'd be like, I speak French and uh, Spanish and Indonesian and maybe a little Mandarin and also English, you know, because those are like, but the banking languages, right. and the culture languages. But at this point, and, every American should learn how to, uh, um, <laughs> Canada because childhood TV right, shows. Right, right. Um, <clears throat> we should at least know Spanish. Especially yeah, especially in Texas. In Texas. Yeah. Anyways, what were you saying? We were talking about too little empathy and you were starting to say something and I interrupted I don't even you. remember now. I'm sorry. I do remember there was a bit on um, Travel Man. If you guys watch Travel Man, I know I've talked, I've espoused the virtues of Travel Man uh -oh. many a time on this stream. And uh, there was a bit where it was Richard Iowade and Ashling B, and they were, I forget what country they were in, maybe Denmark, and, oh, puppers. Aww. She needs, she wants something. Um, and she practiced how to order this drink in, in Danish or something. And so she went up and she said it, and then the guy goes, uh, so two then? And... <laughs> Richard Iode is like, oh, it's brutal when they answer in English. <laughs> you work so hard on like... Uh-oh. What? I put the wrong colors. Oh, no. Wrong colors where? That's supposed to be gray. Yeah, that doesn't even look like black. 
A. I mean, that's why they're color coded. I know. I'm slowing down so you can catch up. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to slow down. Mm -hmm. I may not get this done in an hour and a half. I thought this that's... was going to be a little easier. I mean, it's I mean, not it's... hard. <laughs> Brickheads are some of the easiest ones they have. I know. I know the very basics of Spanish. I know like enough to like understand a little bit when I hear it spoken. Where's your? No, no, not that one. That's holding up a monitor. My bad. <laughs> Brick Separator 101 with Beth. Portugal is a tourism country. So make sure also to do it over the table because you'll loosen it and it'll fall on your lap. Um. Uh, so we have to know to receive tourism. Yeah. Part of the GDP comes from tourism. Yeah. I mean, I, there's tourism stuff here too, but again, we're the default language. Yeah. I mean, I keep going back and trying to learn French because um, that's what I took in high school because I lived in Colorado and there was no real reason to have... It's not like being in Texas where Spanish is a primary mm -hmm. second language. There was a lot of Spanish in Colorado, though. Colorado's got a lot of... Uh, got a big Mexican influence. So learning Spanish would have been... would have made sense, right? Um, we were also kind of close to Canada. Like, I felt like we could have been a Canadian... You know, we got their hockey team. Are you close to Canada? There's a big French-Canadian community in Colorado. There is? Yeah. What? The French have a big problem. I mean, the French have several big problems. Yeah. They've got like a like a labor problem, and they've got a government problem, and health care problem. And... But their food? Yeah. Their food's okay. Um... Yeah, I would uh, actually like to learn how to speak Portuguese. I don't know how helpful that would be in Texas, but uh, I... Uh, you and Crystal and Adrian. Right, talk. right. But you it's, and Crystal could learn together. For some reason, because I'm so used to... Because I took Spanish in high school, um, and um, and I'm around Spanish more here. What, what color bow do you want on your dress? Um, the that's purple kind of, one? Bur yeah, that's the closest to the wedding colors. Um, you know, I could put the wedding colors on here. Do you have them? I have dark red. Do you oh. want dark red? Whatever you want to do. Do you have that exact one in dark red? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I, I think because my ears are so used to hearing Spanish that when I hear Portuguese and it's just a little different, like I feel like there's some things I can pick up. Uh, but same thing in French. Like knowing Spanish, you can kind of like pick up some things in French. Um, yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah, I I just I I think Portuguese is a beautiful language, and maybe that's why I should start taking on Duolingo. There you go. And then we can go to Portugal for our honeymoon. Yep. We can go visit Walter. Yep. <laughs> but I always like wonder how we're always like because I think that Americans romanticize um, certain things I wonder if uh, like people from other countries are like oh English is such a beautiful language it's not beautiful it's really not it's, it's really it is it's one of the I've heard it's one of the most difficult languages to learn which is why it's so impressive it's difficult that, to learn because it's 18 different languages yeah do you guys have a lot of Spanish speakers in Texas? Yes, yes. Uh, we do. We, um, it, uh, oh, nice. Um, I am a hospice social worker and, uh, I have a few patients who are Spanish and I know enough that I can, um, I can kind of, so my, finish the thought. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, my, um, Exper my knowledge of Spanish, um, I don't speak it very well and I have a hard time understanding it because I haven't taken a class in so long, but I can read it and write it fine. Okay. And if I hear it, depending on where the person's from, because just like with, you know, we have a different dialect. I mean, hell, we have a different dialect than people in like 30 miles north of us. Do you want this color, this color, or this color for your skin? 
Probably that. Probably that. I'm pale. Um, I might be able to get white. But sometimes white. I know enough that I'm able to, and even just I have able, some Spanish to, to to communicate a little bit. But even just like some of my patients, um, they get a kick if. Uh, you know, they say como estas, and I say, oh, bien, you too? And then I tell them that's all I know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, that's but, not knowing Spanish. That's knowing, that's being a parrot. Right. Well, no, because... I mean, that's if that's the only phrase you know. No, it's not the only phrase I know, but it's... I know how to respond when someone says como estas. Okay. Um, but I also know how to ask where the bathroom is. Donde esta el baño? Yes, I know how to ask... Where the où library est, is. Où est le WC? Où est le loup? I used to know in French how to say I'm not a cat, but... Je, je ne suis pas un chat. Yeah. Because... <laughs> you are also not a... Uh, uh, tu n'es tu tu pas le singe. You're not a monkey. No, I'm not. Tu n'es pas l'auto. Tu n'es pas... Uh, See... Le chien. This is what... Chien is dog, right? Yeah. So this is why um, Duolingo, I mean, I'm sure there's some genius in the madness, but it's like, am I ever really going to need to tell someone I'm not a cat? Although that lawyer in uh, Texas did. What? I'm oh, not yeah. a cat. I'm not a cat. I'm a live person. That's all I could think of was that like, was hey, so I know how to say that in Spanish or in French. I know. That was such an ad for uh, a Duolingo. Duolingo. Yeah. yeah what Duolingo is... says things like, I'm a peach. Johnny doesn't have cat underwear. That just means turn it around or oh. flip it over or something. <laughs> okay. It's changed its view. That's all it's Oh, uh, okay. So you turn it upside down. Oh, I turn it upside down? Yep. That doesn't look... Oh, that's gonna... Like that. Oh, okay. And then you put those two pieces on. That's why it doesn't look the same. It's supposed to be like... Something doesn't look the same. Go back a step. I think you've missed a step. Ben has to help me with this because... Oh. You missed a couple steps. Oh, okay. I... I uh, you fat-fingered the paper. Yeah. Are you calling me fat? Okay. Um, you're pretty pale too, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're both... Uh, we're not Scottish pale, but we're fairly English pale. American pale. What is this all? That just oh, that's just saying that, that what is that? Colors. I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was another cool thing about this is like once these are done, I've got all these extra pieces from the different skin and hair colors. I don't know what pale is. Uh, it's probably alabaster. Knowing the French, I'd have to look it up. Or, or like uh, some kind of color. So, tu, tu es un singe blanc. You are a white monkey. So do we have anything else to say about the wedding and how perfect it was? So there was a lot of karaoke. We did karaoke. And I everybody was so karaoke. happy about doing it. Like Kelly said last night, she was like, I was kind of unsure how it was going to be. But she's like, it was such a good idea. So we were going to do karaoke inside and dancing outside because Ben wanted karaoke and I wanted to dance. But... As it got closer and we realized we cannot do anything inside, especially singing, like that would have been a bad idea because COVID particles are spread by people yelling and when you're doing karaoke, you're essentially just yelling into the air. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm getting so much of what I want for this wedding. I'm going to, I know that this is, it, it was more important for Ben to do karaoke than it was for me to dance. So I was like, okay, we'll just do... Um, the good part about karaoke is if you pick a song people like to dance to, they can You dance can also to. dance. Yeah, exactly. So it worked That's out. That's what we thought. Yeah, so... It's harder to sit up and sing along next to the DJ or the computer. Right, when, right. When everybody's dancing. So it worked out so well. Everyone loved it. A lot of people sang. My brother sang. My mom sang. My cousin sang. Uh, one of my cousins wouldn't sing because she said you guys were too good. Jamie? Yeah. Jamie, you should have got up and sang. I know. But... Damon killed it. My mom killed Couple it. Couple times, yeah. Yeah, Damon sang. My brother sang uh, "Fire" and "Humpty Dance." Yeah. Humpty Dance is your chance to do the. I think I missed that one. I think I was talking to Cease when cool. that was happening. Okay. 
You don't have to wait for me. No. I'm dragging it out. I like it. You like it? Um, but yeah, it was perfect. The weather was perfect. Like, and we were thinking about this. If we had had it when we were going to have it last year, it would have been right after the um, really bad random ice storm that we had. And according to Amanda, our contact at the venue, um, the venue was just wrecked after that. Like yeah, the, yeah. like the, what's wrong? Oh, I think she sees her reflection in the mirror <laughs> or in the window. Um, our dog's dumb, y'all. Um, There's nothing in my brain. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the grounds were all destroyed. And yeah. Having to do everything outside would have been a problem with like muddy and ruined grass. Exactly. So I'm not saying I'm happy COVID happened because I'm obviously not because it's been terrible. But I mean, at that point, if COVID never happened, we would just do it inside. So, okay. I can't find this piece. I see this, but that's not the same as this, right? But yep. You're right. That's not. So you mixed all yours together. It's hard to I see. I tried not to. Um, yes. Oh, thank you. But yeah, the day could not have been more perfect. Um, and I am, everyone, would, like last night, um, we had, went to a friend's going away gathering at a local brewery. And uh, a lot of the people that were in the wedding were there. And um, Jamie and Alyssa were like, you were amazingly calm. Like we were all amazed by how calm you were. Yeah, I was, you were so calm that I thought your mom had brought some. Some treats from Illinois. From Illinois. No. I know. Nope. Uh, I, I did, however, double up on my anti-anxiety medication, which my, I will say my, um, um, did I put that on the wrong thing? My therapist, uh, Said was okay. Okay. She was like, yeah, you can totally take two before the wedding. I'm like, okay, good. And it's just hydroxyzine, which is basically like an antihistamine. So it wasn't like Xanax or anything. If I had taken two Xanax, I would have been asleep at the altar. That's fun. Yeah. She asked, she's like, do you want me to prescribe you something different? And I'm like, no. I'm like, this is fine. I just need to make sure it's okay for me to take two. Because mental health is important, and it was very important for me not to have a panic attack on my wedding day. Yep. Yeah, the weather was good. Oh, the food so was perfect. good. The music was good. We had friends from out of town. Ah, mom. <laughs> Mom's on. She's like, how do you know I didn't? Did you slip something in my thundercloud sandwich, Mom? Yeah, we, you know, those, uh, the, oh, well, we had the burritos after. I was going to say, the burritos were unattended for a while. Yeah. Um... Also, hi, Mom. Love you. Miss you. This music makes me sleepy. It's bouncy. Is it? Okay. Um, so I'm going to clip that for Twitch later. It's just the two of us. Cool. see if it's going. I need to get better at Twitch. Um, I just multi multicast to different locations, but it's not <clears throat> it's not tailored for any one thing. So it's just kind of a generic stream. So there's no bells and whistles. So there's no fun stuff. Um, <clears throat> so like stuff like that, where it's like you can clip a video and play it and put it on your clips thing later. It's like. Mm. That's work. Okay. Um, is there supposed to be a gray? No. Okay. Is that just... It's just the outline. Oh. The black pieces get outlined a little more, oh. so you can tell they're black, and so a double piece like that looks like it's got double outline. Uh, Lego is confusing. <clears throat> Aw. This is kind of like putting together a... a uh, um... Ikea furniture. I also can't do that. I know. I you did do miss the... a chance to meet my mom and my dad and my brother. They were all there. I legit think I'm down a piece. 
Okay, so how does this clip on here? Like that? <laughs> the two right here or the two right there? Oh. Wait. Did I put this on wrong? Yeah. One goes down and one goes forward. So those are its hands. Right. Just like that. How does it fit in there, though? <laughs> Did I put the thing on? No. Okay. But these two, it goes right there. Just like that. Oh! Because <laughs> is it... Okay. Lego's hard. No, it's not. Where's the box that says 2 to 99? I'm not 99 yet. I'm only 40. Ten. Does, does ten plus. Ten plus. Do oh they take God. away the ninety nine? No, I think it's just like. Actually, I think they did. Um. So that's my theory: is Betty White died so she wouldn't have to stop playing with Lego. Right. Um. What is this making? Are you okay with the colors that it has for this? For yours? It's black. That color skin, this color hair. Why is there a blue one just randomly in there? That's your spine. Because your spine is blue? Well, your brain is pink, too. Oh. <clears throat> Lego is hard. Try yeah, see? Lego is hard. Uh, oh, I just on kicked it? something. Kick my computer. No, I kicked the dog. Oh, well, don't kick the dog. That's Thanks, Mommy. It's not looking great right now because I just like woke up like 10 I'm minutes, 15 minutes before. I'm actually missing a piece. I'm going to go grab one. I guess this is the good thing about having all the Lego you need. I actually don't have to keep ordering shit. These are bits that I don't have. You have more Lego than most people. Maybe not Glenn. I don't know how much Glenn he has. I have or how much, how much Glenn Lego has. <laughs> I have more Lego than average people. Do you have more Lego than Glenn? No. Oh, I didn't need this. This was this one. So of the people in my Lego group, I am I am small potatoes. <laughs> I don't believe that necessarily. Maybe, well, I don't know. I've never seen other people's Lego collection, but it seems like you have a lot. Oh, this is all done wrong. I was listening to a uh, last podcast and um, it was the... Uh, Enfield haunting episode mm -hmm. and I was so proud of Marcus because he said he well first he said Legos because part of the thing was that Lego bricks were being thrown around mm -hmm. but at one point he did say Lego bricks and I was like oh I'm so proud <laughs> I'm sure he really cares I'm sure he's watching this stream right now yep he should you're you're one of the bigger fans of... I am they were just in Austin I mean I wouldn't have gone because like COVID we saw them before we did but I would see them you can see people more than once I'm just saying they have been here before I know. So repeat visits is good. Yeah. Well, he's from Texas, so. And we all know Austin is the best place in Texas. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Lying is verboten on this stream. I've got a headache from my two beers I drank last night. You poor thing. I know. I'm going to go grab some ibuprofen really quick or some Tylenol. I'm going to do Tylenol. Can you get by? Mm hmm Oh, I also haven't eaten anything. That's yeah, nice. you need breakfast. That's what happens when you wake up five minutes before you have to do something. It was 15. While she's gone, I will talk a little bit about some good news that I got. Um, so I went to try to do uh, a tour at the Q2 Stadium, um, the Austin FC, the football stadium. And the person who I was supposed to take the tour with didn't email me back to say, because of stage five, they were no longer doing tours. And so I was like, oh, well, we're here. We went and looked around the gift shop, which was still open. Apparently stage five doesn't stop that. And um, I was like, well, that's a bummer. Yeah, we can totally reschedule. I'm okay with rescheduling. Uh, I was a little kind of bummed out. A friend went with me and we we're kind of like, oh, that kind of sucks. But um, on the way home, we had stopped by to let her take, she was gonna. She was scheduled for a COVID test. So we stopped by and while she was doing that, um, 
I was on my phone in the car just waiting and I got a Instagram message from a woman who is part of the supporter group for Austin FC. Um, and the supporter group is just like the, the fan group kind of thing. They're the ones who like, it's hard. It's, it would be like text slug is, is to Lego, right? The supporter fan group is to Austin FC like text slug is to Lego. They're big fans of the football club. They kind of push to get community involvement. Um, they run programs. They raise money, that kind of thing. Um, so she messaged me and like independent of the tour date that got missed, I got this message that said, I've been watching, I just saw your Instagram post and your stream about doing the stadium in Lego. I think that's awesome. I want to help. I want to be a part of this. And then I looked at her Instagram feed and it's full of Lego stuff. And I'm like, oh, well, okay. And she goes, so back and forth talking. And she was like, um, how big is it going to be? You know, you should join the, the support group is called. Um, Oops. <laughs> I made you backwards. <laughs> I did that too. Yeah. <laughs> I had to move all the face stuff around the other side. Um, Los Vistos, I think. Um, or Los Verdes. I think it's Los Verdes. Los Verdes. And... Um, yeah, I didn't get the I didn't get the tour. I, watch, ready? Erica's yeah. watching. Hi, Erica. I hope you're feeling better. Ready? You yeah. just do that. Oh, well, that's easy. That's you're gonna make me do it on this, aren't yeah. you? Just push it and then lever it down. Oh. See how easy that is? It's like they made the tool specifically for that. It's so great. Mm -hmm. Um. Ben is always backwards. Yeah, I just put my head That's on true. like this. It was Hi, like, Josh. It's like uh, space balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't somebody tell me my butt was so big? Um, Erica's watching too. Hi, Erica. Watching too. I didn't see her thing come up. Oh, hi. Um, oh, good. She's doing great. Yay. Yeah. I'm glad you're feeling better. Yes. Erica got a case of the sea. Oh, man. Mm. So the message was basically... Let us know if the supporter club can help. And I'm thinking, okay, well, you can't really help with the design because I have to do that on my own. Um, you could help getting a hold of like the stadium or the people who run the stadium to be like, if this gets built, do you want to put it in the stadium? Um, like a display somewhere, maybe in a press box, maybe near the opening or in the ticket place or in the, the gift shop or something like that. Just kind of have it up. Um, if you order enough pieces, maybe you could do a smaller set like the Man U or Camp New stadium sets that Lego does, but like a uh, exclusive thing through Q2 or something, right? Do I have to give you a mustache? No, I don't have a mustache. I know, so I'm not gonna do it. Uh, you, I don't think you can do a beard on here either because no. uh, you might be able to. I could figure out how to do that. <clears throat> um, but I have glasses, so you will have to do glasses. Yeah, I'll do that. So, um, I was like, okay, well, to get it, yeah, not the big C, Erica, just the C. Um, nobody wants the big C. Chlamydia? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the big C? Cancer, you foolish person. <laughs> Chlamydia? <laughs> That's a big C. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, that was I'm so, so much tired. Fun. Oh wow. I need to go back to bed. I had, I'm gonna dine on that for like a week. That was so much good, fun. Good, good. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob Cartwheel. So uh Well, okay, number of people to get it, yes, but I don't think the anyway, we can we can debate that. <laughs> The multiple C's. The three C's. Cancer, COVID, and chlamydia, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, chlamydia is a thing, Ben. So, anywho, we're, um, I'm reading this, and we're talking back and forth all day. <laughs> yeah, it really is the promo for the stream. Clip it. <laughs> clip it. It's going on Twitch. The sad thing is, my normal uh, stream's not that funny. <laughs> That's why you have me on. Yeah, every, I provide every, the humor. Every six months, I need you on for a new clip. Just because, and it should always be when I'm just waking up because right. that's when I'm my unintentionally my funniest. Well, I don't think you would do a, a nighttime thing because you go to bed at like nine, and then you stay. You just lay in bed on your <laughs> phone till two in the morning. 
I know. I'm going to bed so I can stay up till two in the morning. It's because I start listening about <clears throat> serial killers and it's fascinating. I told Alyssa I thought of her last night because I was, or the night before, because I was listening to a podcast about Jeffrey Dahmer and she's from uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. So anyway, the the person in the fan group was like, I was talking about how big the stadium, the big one that I was thinking of doing. I was like, every little cheese wedge, right? Every little cheese wedge. Oh no, your butt came off. Okay, wow. It's back. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that sounded terrible. That's the big B. Every little piece like this, cheese wedge, one by one slope, um, is going to be a seat in the stadium. So there's seats 20,000 people, so I need 20,000 of these slopes um, in three different greens. So 7,000 of each. And they are... X amount of dollars per piece, right, or cents. Plus, if you get them um, as in bulk, which we can do occasionally through the lug, or you can get project support, or you can buy them off Bricklink or whatever. It's Your cheaper. Your eyes off. I can't, <laughs> I can't turn it. Um, Thank you. So she's like, so the budget's like, let's say just for the seats, it's twelve hundred dollars and like a seventy-five hundred dollar budget total. And I'm like, probably. I mean, I don't know. I was like, the capital was like six, seven grand total. A lot of that was donated. A lot of that was bought by not me, you know, so I'm not exactly sure how much. And she's like, oh, the club has spent a lot more on more BS than that. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, we could do a fundraiser right now and sell scarves and have that money by next week. And I'm like, ah. Oh. Let me separate those. All right, here's another trick. Oh, wait, no. This one's got a groove in it. You should mm -hmm. just be able to put your fingernails in there and pull it apart. <laughs> yeah. Ben got his groove back. Sorry. I'm just... No, that's fine. That's good. So I'm very excited because if I can continue this um, relationship with the, the supporter group, and I think I might join the supporter group because I'm you know, a fan of the club. I like watching the games. I like going to the games. Um, I'm a fan of soccer in general. So I probably will do that, and it's like 35 bucks a year. Um, it'd be cool to like talk to them in their Slack channel and kind of keep them posted about how it's going, and it just also means that I need to get on it and keep doing it. So like I think Thursday will be a design stream for that. And yes, Brad, it was a bummer that I didn't always, that I didn't get in to uh, talk to them about the stadium and I kind of followed up with like, yeah, let's reschedule it. Also, I just need some basic information. Like, do you have architectural plans or an elevation schematic or something that I could kind of look at? Do you know what official colors? Put it down, put your fingernails in here and pry it apart. I'm so confused about what's happening. I'm thrown off because it, you don't have a mustache. Put it, put it down. Let the table help you work. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let them fund it if they are if they're able to. The thing is too that I have to get a solid design, but I kind of want to simul design the smaller one and the bigger one. Um, the smaller one won't take that long. The problem I have with the smaller one is there's a and if you watch the streams before about like when we were doing it, this the stadium itself kind of sits on a little bit of a hill. So it comes up a little bit, and then this the field itself is kind of sunk in. But it's so gradual at that size, it doesn't feel like it's very sunk in. But like you feel like you're just walking up to the gate, and then you get in the gate, and the field's down in kind of the air. When in reality, the field's the same level as everything around it. It's just that it got built up a little bit. So when you're working on a big base plate, and you have to like raise it up so the field can be below the first level of concourse area, it's kind of like, how do we do that, you know? So I gotta figure that out. That's the small version. The bigger version, I'm not too worried about that. So, oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the problem I'm having with this, with not doing the beard. Okay. So, <laughs> something doesn't look right. Is I supposed to have another one here? You're supposed to have, this is supposed to go down here, and this is supposed to go here. But then what goes, something, Oh, I see. No, you're right. So let's do that. That's right. So the eyes go back up here. Let me see. So not these guys. Oh. Hmm. 
Oh no, I think those guys. Are yeah, the same. see? Yep, okay. And they go right here. So you just don't have anything down there. You can just do this. But also, your eye shouldn't be sticking out like that. Like that. Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you're right. They shouldn't be sticking out like that. Yeah, they should be. So you take one. Did I put the wrong uh, thickness? Um, I can't really tell. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah, this piece is missing. So don't do that. Oh. Okay. All right, you look normal now. Okay. Whew. Look, you admitted I was right about something. And it's on, ah. we got video proof. That's right. Darn video it. Video proof, bitches. See, this just gets, Scrooge. when I get, like, I don't know how it happens, but I always end up missing steps and it gets very confusing. Well, make sure you get the page right and then pull aside the pieces that you need so you know exactly, okay, now these pieces go on this step. Mm -hmm. And then I don't move on until I've got all those pieces. Okay. Because I do the same thing. I get rushed, I get talking to people, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, I missed a whole page, I missed a whole step. And guess whose fault that is? Mine. I was going to say the cat's. No. Um, so yeah, so the stadium is going to be a thing. That's going to be the next big build. But I also want to do a non-giant butt kind of big thing. But a non-giant butt. Non-giant butt. My butt fell off. So, okay. I, I also want to do like um, kind of a like city, but I want to... Everybody's got a city that they built. They've got their own little city in their house. We built this city. Are we gonna get a copyright thing from that? Maybe I shouldn't do that. All right, you sang it for 10 seconds, or a second, it's probably fine. But um, I wanna do kind of like a neat, and Will and I were talking about this, doing a, uh, like a like um, Firefly kind of spaceport settlement thing. So it's like space, but like combined with West, with Western Neat. cowboy thing. Um, so it's like space, but it's a little run down. Um, so I came up with some drawings and this was like years ago, we were talking about doing this. Um, and I kind of still want to do it, but I, you know, it's one of those, you just, you need to start. You just need to pick something and go. Is this your ear? Yep, look like I got two elf. little ears. Looks like elf ears. Did you do the brain already? Yeah. Cool. Oh, is that what the pink? Your brain was blue. No, shouldn't have been. It was it. What was the next step? That. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so confused. Is your eldest serenity? Yeah. Very um, nice. Yeah, I think sort of a, a moon base, but it'd be like kind of a westerny looking moon base. Would be a lot of fun. Kodiak's on. Hi, Kodiak. Hi, Kodiak. How are you? Kodiak got me watching his stupid stream about this game that I'm going to buy, and it's infuriating. <laughs> Is this ear right? Yeah, they poke out. Okay. Lego ears are weird. Well. I don't even know why they included an ear. Brick, brick head ears, not Lego ears. Lego people generally don't have ears. Right. So, why do these guys? Because they're different, it's a different thing. Yeah. So Brickheads was done, Brickheads is kind of a cool story because it was just a person designing these on their own and like posting them on Flickr and stuff. Uh. And I don't know how it eventually became, I don't know if it was an idea set that got picked up, but this was like, Lego didn't come up with this idea. This was a fan came up with this idea. Oh. Now it's now it's a huge thing. So it must have been an idea set, right? Um, I think it was pre-ideas. Like I, I think this was like 10 years ago this dude was coming up with these things. Um, and I think it was around QSO time, maybe pre-ideas. I haven't got it yet, so... Um, I'm still debating whether to get that or another game that I was looking at, so we'll see. Got your they hired the guy, oh cool. Wait. 
Wait, what did I? Okay, I'm missing something here. No, that's right. Oh. No, there's supposed to, there's a little thing down here. But then that's all different. Let me see. Oh, there's such a glare. Let me see. My brain just doesn't like Oh. So, oh, okay, is that right? Yeah. Oh, I just put it on the wrong thing. Okay, yeah. I see. Yeah, for some reason, like, I don't know if it's just because I'm not a visual learner. Like, I feel like it would almost be better if I had, like, written instructions. Yeah. Yeah, because you when we do maps to go to places, you don't have the map pulled up. You've got the step-by-step, -step, yeah. like, turn here and 50 yeah. feet, turn here and 100 feet. I'm like... I couldn't do that. Like, I have to kind of look at it all at once and go, right. that's where we're going. Oh, did I put these hands on? Or are they supposed to be reaching out? Well, one is. You get one kind of poking out uh -oh. and one kind of poking. They're really, really easy to change. Oh. You're a genius. <clears throat> yeah, there was uh, Cube Dudes as well. And I don't know if they were the precursor or if there was a different person. Or I'll have to look at the history of... And yeah, I think they were like, this is um, Lego trying to get into Funko Pop, Pop figures. That's very astute. Do you have a, a K, what are those called? K-Square books, key, K, Keystone, key, key maps, key map books that are just like the squares across the city and they're the big ring binders of any city. I love those books. Those are great. I used to work for the city and we had one in our truck always because this is pre GPS and you had to be like, go to 15th and Lafayette and this address. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. When Ben gives me directions, he's always like, turn North. I'm like, no, you can't tell me that you have to tell me, am I turning left or right? Am I turning by the seven 11 or the yeah, church right of Christ? Or left. Go North on this street. What is North? Yeah. I know what it is. If I'm like, if I can figure out where 35 is, mm -hmm. I can figure it out. Um, they do have fantastic parts. Yeah. They got lots of slopes, lots of tiles, lots of these one by fours with the studs on either side. Um, uh, lots of one by one tiles, just good stuff. They also have the, um, one by two by one and two thirds snot bricks. Did you say snot bricks? Okay, so these are snot bricks. Do they look like snot? No. So these, it means studs not on top. Oh. So this is a snot brick. Well, that's an unfortunate name. Studs I'm just, not on top. I'm just going to throw that out there, Lego. Uh, do you know what those, so you get a castle set or a something set and it builds a mountain. It's got those big pieces of rock mm -hmm. pieces. Those are called burps. It's a big, ugly rock piece. I don't understand... I mean, that's not Lego coming up with that. That's the fan community coming up with it. Uh -oh. But I think Lego has embraced the snot. I also notice thing. when you say Lego, you say it like can a Canadian Lego. Lego? Sometimes you say Lego. That ease a little. You sometimes say bag and you I were do. born in Kentucky. But that's only because I watch a lot of Degrassi. Okay. 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 So uh, can I talk about my, oh, there's a child on. I shouldn't talk about Talk about what? My bachelorette party. I mean, I don't see why not. Um, my friends got me a Canadian Zoom stripper for my bachelorette party. Party? Party. Party. Erica says Lego. She's also from the Midwest. Yeah. I mean, my family's kind of Midwest origin, so I'm guessing that's where Maybe I got that's what it is. most of my language. But yeah, Erica was there for the Zoom stripper. You can talk about whatever you want. Um, it was, <laughs> Kodiak said, hey, I'm not that young. Um, yeah, so my friends, my girlfriends know that I love Canada. 
And, um, and she loves the D. No, well, I w the thing is, is that if it was in real life, I would not have wanted a stripper because I have no desire. Male strippers make me very uncomfortable. I mean, strippers in general make me uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, not if you're a stripper, that's totally fine. Like, honestly, at least with the female strippers, like, they're, like, working that pole. Like, they're doing something. I mean, so are the male strippers. <sighs> <laughs> it's just less creepy. I don't know. Female strippers are less creepy. Stickers but across most anyway. Oh, ooh, that's evil, Glenn. Someone said poop parts out of parts. What does that mean? Um, parts out of parts. Is, is that it when like you a make parts out of other parts? Is that like a sub assembly? Like you make a part and then you put it on the larger thing. I don't know. Um, but anywho, or, or is like a brick. Like you make a brick out of other bricks, like that. Uh, gift with purchase teal brick. Was that a poop? <laughs> um, There's also a ship. There's a seriously huge investment in parts. Is a ship. Uh, you make a giant spaceship. What am I turning around here? Just the guy? Is he set right there? That looks right. Um, but yeah, so um, they got me a Canadian Zoom stripper named Bobby, who was disappointingly dressed as a fireman. He should have been dressed as a Mountie, but whatever. I'm not his boss. Um... I think the Mounties may have been all uh, taken. Maybe. Like, he's probably like, I want to do this. And I'm like, can't. Is it? Does anyone know? Is it disrespectful? <laughs> oh, it might be. Would it be disrespectful? Well, I mean, there's cops. We got cop strippers. That's true. And army strippers and stuff. Yeah, but Mounties are kind of like hardcore. Okay, what color boutonniere do you want? Do you have a, uh, do you have a dark red like this? No, but I wore... We all wore celery stalks. So green. So green. And since Erica's on, um, also a really nice boutonniere that she made out of comic books. Yeah, both Greg and I, and they were the talk of the thing. Everybody really loved it. Yeah, them. it was amazing. Uh, Spirit Halloween didn't have Mountie costumes. Nice. <laughs> That's probably right. Um, or whatever the Canadian version of Spirit Halloween is. Right, right. So, um, but yeah, um, his name was Bobby. And um, Bobby went full Monty. We're all right here. They're not. Well, they can still... The mic Erica's can... across town. Oh, my God. I'm um, right here, and I'm bleeding out of my <laughs> ear. But, um, yeah, he went full Monty, and I don't think anybody was expecting that. Nobody expects the Canadian Inquisition. Uh, um, but, yeah, he was, he was talented. Um, now, I don't have the... Bouquet. I don't have. I don't think they make flowers in dark That's red. That's okay. That's fine. So, do you um, want purple? Sure. Well, yeah. you can do whatever you do. This isn't really us, Ben. But it is. Oh. Um. Hey, leave the cat alone. He's sleeping. Um. Don't give me that dummy face. But yeah. Um. But yeah, he went, and I will not get into details. But um, we were very concerned about the color of his his schlong. package. Um, but anyway, that's a whole other story, whole nother, whole nother story, but, um, it was very entertaining. And when he was done, he's like, so y'all want to sit and chat? And we were like, yeah. And we found out that, um, Bobby actually was jealous of the way that the United States handled, uh, COVID. Um, and I'm pretty certain he was an anti-masker. He may not have been anti-masker, but he was anti, I think he was anti-shutdown because Canada did the good thing and actually like shut everything down as you should have. And we didn't. And he chalked that up to us having more freedom. And it's like, oh, Bobby, you're such a disappointing Canadian. Freedom doesn't always mean it's the right thing. Freedom is just, right. I think people, I think people really sort of, um, misinterpret that like freedom equals individual mm -hmm. and it, i mean you that's a that's i think a byproduct of freedom is you have individual rights and choice and stuff mm -hmm. but i think it's i think it's poisoning the well of common good <laughs> yeah you know there's no community left everybody's yeah so it, individualistic exactly it's ruining stuff exactly so erica said um uh, that poor dog. I think about that dog sometimes. He did have a dog that was just kind of sitting there like, oh my God. Yeah, here this we go again. Life. Uh oh. I dropped a very important piece. A VIP? Is that it? Yep. Um, Kodiak says, I don't know if dressing up as a Mountie is disrespectful, but I do know the president of Canada, whichever moose has the big, <laughs> the president of Canada's, whichever moose has the biggest antlers. 
<laughs> That's funny. Aw, snort. Oh, that made me snort. Um, but yeah, I worry about that dog too. He's that dog has seen some stuff. Um, but yeah, and Erica wrote an amazing uh, murder mystery, and uh, All these great parts that are. I did over. not guess right because Jamie accidentally. Yeah, we did see some stuff for sure. Uh, Jamie accidentally gave away too much about her character, and it was obvious that she did it. But I thought that that would be too easy because it's never the person you first expect. So I thought it was Crystal, and I was wrong. It was actually Jamie, Nobody's, but it was so much fun. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. So I have a feeling we can fix my beard situation. Is this the right part? What? It's just not fitting. I didn't wear a hat. Oh, well. So you don't need to do the hat. Okay. Fine. I don't want to do the hat. Um, is this more hair stuff? Yeah. The top of my head. So it's like you can do the hat. Oh, or, or you, you can, can do, do the hat. top of the head. Let's do the top of the head then. But yeah, the bachelor, like, I'm really sorry you didn't get to have your bachelor party. I'm so happy that the ladies plan this like way in advance which is what you're supposed to do you're supposed to have it way in advance i don't know mm -hmm. if your boys knew that but boys um but it was just freaking perfect um we had murder mystery we had canadian strippers what are you doing i'm gonna go put a beard on him oh, okay quick. Um, we had wine, we had 90s music. I rode with Erica over to the wineries and we had 90s music in the car. Um, we had a hot tub. It was perfect. You're rubbing it in. You, I feel like that they're gonna do a makeup bachelor party for you. With makeup? Yes. They did get Ben a Lego stripper. Did you show that? Yep. Probably shouldn't tap that. That's probably really annoying to people watching. Probably. Oops. Whoops. No, I don't think they can hear it. Oh, Henry Brazel's watching. Hi, Daddy. I hope you didn't hear all that stuff we said about strippers. I hope you did. Uh, that's awkward. See, Glenn, you missed uh, Daddy Brazel, too. You missed Mom and Pa Brazel. Mom and Pa Brazel. Makes it sound like there's a feud going on. <laughs> Ma Barker. Oh, I need to listen to the new episode. Of, of what? Um, last podcast. We also need to do... I know. We do. We really do. That might... Oh, so the typing was... The tapping wasn't too bad. Nice. That works. Or maybe just solid across It kind of looks like you're going like this. <laughs> Let's do solid across there. I just think that'd be better. Oh man, I need some more coffee. I hope it's got good isolation. It was a $200 microphone. How about that? Perfect. I like it. Um, I'm confused about what's happening here. Oh, that goes here. We'll do this nope. bit first. I did, look. Okay, then it puts it on. But right here. With a little bit hanging over the front. Over the front. What? Oh, I had it the wrong way. I see. Okay. Alrighty. I'm getting so old. Like, I seriously had two beers last night, and I drank them over the course of, like, three hours. And I didn't even, like, feel intoxicated, which was good, because that's not a feeling I enjoy much anymore. But I just feel... Now I just have a headache. Like, I feel hungover, and I didn't even get the benefits of... I know why. Shut up. Nope, we're not going to talk about that. But no, that's not why. It's probably because... No, it's, I think that's why. And we were outside. We were outside we're by, the... by the fire. Hey, Scott. Now how's it going? We'll walk through uh, the fire. Scott, I'm sorry about the pack. Uh, it seemed like a, a heartbreaking loss. Um, so The pack like the Packers? The Packers Did lost. Did they lose? They lost to the 49ers yesterday. Is he from Wisconsin? 
I don't know if he's from Wisconsin, but I know he's a Packers fan. See, when I hear Wisconsin, I think Jeffrey Dahmer and I think Ed Gein was from Wisconsin too. Yeah. I never think about the Packers. I really need to, this says something really bad about me. I, I don't think of those other two things either. I think of, when I think of Wisconsin, I think of, you think of Green cheese? Bay and I think of my family and I think of cheese. So there you go. Yeah, that sucked and I'm over it already. <laughs> Yeah, I've got no stake in anybody in this, the upcoming game, so I don't, I don't really care. Oh my god, the cat had gotten into that little bitty box and the dog is like trying to kick him out. Oh no, is he in there still? Yeah, the dog, well no, the cat was sleeping over here, uh -huh. but then the cat went into that little skinny box and the, the dog's over there playing yeah. with his tail. It really is the serial killer capital of the world. You know why? Because it's cold and there's nothing to do but go to Lambeau Field. Um... It's like uh, being in a small Texas town. There's nothing to do but go to the football game. The thing, Texas has some serial killers, but I think that they don't get caught. Because Texas is too big. They've got a lot of places they can run to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it really is. Like, there's a lot of serial killers from this, right, where Wisconsin. Is Wisconsin. Did I keep the stripper? I thought I did. I don't know where I put Oh, yeah. So if you didn't see... This was the stripper that my friends got me. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I don't know what the extra hands are for, but I think there's I like extra hands. Oh no! Yeah, I don't know. That's what, that's really. I don't know scary. if they, they if they ordered it like it comes with that, like it's the top of the pole, or I don't know what's going on there. But none of them are from Green. I guess GB is Green Bay. Green Bay, yeah. Green Bay is like a very very small town. Yeah. Um. And there's almost nothing in it. Um, yeah. Um, except for Lambeau Field. Dahmer was Milwaukee, right? Or at least where he ended up. He was originally from Ohio, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Um, but uh, where was Ed Gein from? Oh, shit. oh my god, what are you did doing? I break it? I don't know, but you just threw a bunch of pieces. Oh no. Golly. Hey, Ben, will you pick those up? So don't push down like this with one finger. You gotta hold it. You're just like. <laughs> You broke it again! Did I, are we missing pieces now? Oh, I'm sure there's pieces everywhere. As long as the thing's done, there's no missing pieces in this. I just... I'm it, sorry. It's not like they get sucked into a void unless the cat eats them. Well, I'll I just pick them up off oh the Oh, God, I don't want the cat to eat them. So my dad is from Madison, or an area outside of Madison, and I forget exactly where. But it's, yeah, this very small area. Oh, is that where Gein's from? Oh, probably. I should ask my dad. Are you familiar with Ed Gein? Oh my God, are you guys related to Ed Gein? Ben might eat them. Oh my God. <gasps> what if you're related to Ed Gein? Wow. Like I'm not one of these people, like I, I am fascinated with cr true crime and serial killers, but I'm not one of these that is fascinated in a sense where like I like them. You're not gonna be able to find any pieces now that you've launched them everywhere. Um, so I don't want you to be related to Ed Gein. Yeah, because you may not wake up tomorrow. To be fair, Ed Gein was barely a uh, serial killer. Um, yeah, he killed like three people. He killed two people. He killed his mom. Well, maybe three. Um, well, I can't remember if he killed his mom or he just... I can't remember, but his thing was uh, grave digging. Yeah, and now and, you've married in. Oh, I know. Yeah, he would like do bad things to the bodies and he made a nipple belt. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was my nickname in college. No, it wasn't. Nipple belt. No, it wasn't. Um, there's a dog under me. I need to find. <laughs> what if you are related to Ed Gein? That'd be hilarious. What? I think I would have known that already. Like that seems like something that would show up in a. Yeah. The thing that's interesting about the serial killers from Wisconsin, too, is that they were, like, when you look at Gein and Dahmer, like, these weren't just, like, people with, like, antisocial personality disorder or narcissism. Like, these were people who were really sick, like, legitimately mentally ill. Yeah. And because Hold of it. that, I think people you sometimes <laughs> feel sorry for them. Physics. But then you have to remember that Jeffrey Dahmer killed and ate a lot of men and did terrible things with their corpses. Yuck. So. 
He was a whisper. If there are any Walking Dead people, <laughs> what what's the whisper? The whispers are the people that dressed in the court, and they like skinned. They got dead people and skinned them, and then they wore the skins so they looked like zombies. And then they walked among the zombie herds, so that zombies thought they were. When did that happen? I think we stopped watching by that point. Okay. We yeah we we're related to John Wesley Harden who shot a man for snoring. That sounds like a Johnny Cash song. Probably was. Shot a man for snoring just to watch him die. No, he shot a man, man in, in Reno. Reno just to watch him die. That's the joke. These are the jokes. Um, These are the jokes, Carl. And also, it's Damon's middle name. Harden. Mm-hmm. Well, Harden was my grandmother's mother's maiden name. Is that right? Former Mom roommate. Mom and dad. Yep. Um, I just need the little black square. One by one tile? <laughs> yes. Where? 80 little black square. What are you doing? I'm doing the glasses. Oh. If you must know. Mm, well, it's probably on the floor somewhere because you launched everything in the next I week. I didn't mean to. Oh, there he is. Hey, Toaster. How's it going? Good to see you again. Hello. <clears throat> Coming right in the end. Got about 12 minutes. Or whenever Beth wants to be done. Um, what what is happening here? You take it off. If I'm wearing glasses, you take that bit off. I don't think I was supposed to put this on yet. I don't know why I did that. So you put the eyes on just to put take them off again? Well, you put the eyes on if it's a normal person. Then if I'm wearing, if your oh, person so you're is not, wearing glasses. you're not a normal person is what you're saying. You put the clip and the plate and then the glasses on. Well, like, I wasn't wearing a hat. You didn't need to put the hat on. Okay, so what are so we doing here? this and then a clip. Oh, no, there's just that. So this and then a... One by two jumper. Do you have a one by two jumper? I don't know what that That's is. That's this oh. because it it goes in between the two studs normally, so it's it, oh. it's a jumper in between. So, so this do goes this. Okay. I, I I can do it. Let me do it. I love you. I no. I just took that off. Oh. Because you put the jumper on in its place. Oh. Now you can do it. Put the jumper in there. Oh, it's telling you to take it off. Yes, yeah, you're the way the, the arrows, arrows go. going this way. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. I never would have thought about that. And then this goes here, right? Yup. And then this goes here. Lego was complicated. No, it's not. Not these things. What I really like about uh, Brickhead stuff is how smooth some of the hair is, like how they fit it around mm -hmm. the sides of the head. I've always appreciated that. All right. We're done with 10 minutes to spare. There's us. Do, 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 do. Lego is complicated. <laughs> Love you. Bob Cartwheel. Bob Cartwheel. <laughs> so yeah, so there's that. Um, so yeah, what do you want to do for 10 minutes? Mm, I want to go to Starbucks and get coffee. I'll let you. You'll let me, you'll allow me yeah. <laughs> to go get coffee. Um, you get me one? Yep. So the next couple weeks, I don't have a whole lot of sets being built. Oh, here's the other thing I did. I finished this. I know I was working on this last time, but this got finished. So Iron Man, um, Mosaic. Was that fun to do? That feels like that would be really like... It, it, it didn't take very long to do. It took about two hours total. Um, it's not super entertaining because it's a lot of just putting these little bits in place. Um, and I'll show you the instructions. You might actually like it because it's very paint by numbery. Yeah, so um, it's probably a little easy. So if you wanted like the Beatles one. I was gonna say they have the... Uh, the... But this is what you do, right? Yeah, they have the let it be. So like oh. these are all the colors and then you just put those colors in those spots. And you can cool. even put the 
this is the actual size. Yeah. So you can put the plate over it and kind of line up where everything is. Oh, okay. So yeah, they've got Beatles, they've got Warhol art ones, they've got Star Wars ones. Oh, we should get a Warhol one for Heather. If you want. I bet she would I mean, like you, that. You just ruined okay. her birthday present. Well, she's not watching. Or Christmas present. Um, why are there so many Bye, extra Mariana. pieces? Bye, Mariana and Walter. Oh, because you could have different because colors. Because you have different yeah. colored people, different hair colors. Different suit colors, I guess. Is that what the blue is for? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I could replace all these with, uh, not that, mm -hmm. but I could replace all this with like dark red. Burgundy, yeah. Well, there's no burgundy, but it's a it's a dark red, which is... Yeah, apparently burgundy is a very difficult uh, yeah. color to find. We did not pick good colors. I mean, I was But just... burgundy, but it looked great. So in my defense this time, I didn't just randomly throw out a color. I knew we kind of yeah. wanted a dark red. Yeah. And so I just looked up and I knew you wanted kind of a dark red as your color. So I just mm -hmm. looked up tuxes. And when that came up, it was, the color was burgundy. So and I was it looked like, great. Why don't I just say it? Oh, wow. Dara posted um, if you're in um, Round Rock area, stay away from the Dunkin' Donuts Pizza Hut area on Gaddis and A.W. Grimes. Police have the area locked down. There was a shooting. Oh, I gotta tell. Are the kids working there? Yeah. I don't know. That's where they work. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh... Bring that up i just so um the next few streams are going to be design streams i think uh i'll work on some more i'll order some more parts for micro fighters i think the next one i'm gonna do is the providence one um the providence class carry a cis ship um i need to get a admiral trench analog so a spider head so if anybody's got spider heads and would like to trade with something let me know uh, i could we could work on a trade if i've got a figure you want um, I know Jerry was on here last time asking about uh, Iden Versio figures, and I've got an extra one, but it's not worth that much. And he had a tactical droid, and a tactical droid's like 50 bucks, I think, and Iden Versio is like seven. So I'm like, I don't think that's a fair trade. But if anybody has a spider head, I think it was um, either a. Um, uh, like the, not hidden side, but like the monsters thing, or I think it was just a, uh, custom, a CMF series. Um, so let me know. Otherwise, I'll just get off Brick Link. Um, I don't have the $150 to buy Big Kid Bricks' version of that really, really awesome Admiral Trench that he made. It's it's like got three arms and it's like a custom head and mold and it's really nice. But I don't have that. And I would not get that because then to put it in a crappy little um, microfighter makes me feel a little like I got imposter syndrome or something. So I'll just do a spider head because that'll also fit. Was this the picture that you said talked about how my face looked or was it this one? That one. Yeah. So can I show this picture? Do that. So Ben said, this is how blissful I was on the day. Ben said, can you do it? He's never seen me look like this before. She just had this look like she was super happy about being there. I was super happy. Yeah. Uh, I can never get that right. Um, it's all, I, she's posted a ton of it on Facebook. You can go look on Facebook. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then um, probably work on a little more of the, the stadium so I can get that done. So I can start working with that group um, and keep them interested and... Yeah, we'll go from there. I'm hope I'm keeping an eye out. I think I found a used UCS ADAT for seven hundred. Um, it's been opened, built, and then everything put back in numbered bags, and it still has the box and the instructions. I'm like, I'll save a hundred bucks. I don't care. Um, gonna try to sell the Apocalypse Burger. Gonna try to sell the Mac Anthem. If anybody wants to buy either of those, just let me know. Um, I've got a person on uh, our Texel group who, or the Reddit Lego market who had messaged me and said that they would buy it um, for and I said like 480 and then I never heard from him so I don't know if they're that interested but um, I'm not everyone that at the pizza hut right now is currently on lockdown they're not letting anybody evacuate yet yeah but she's not there and I, I'm assuming Greg's not or they would have said something right so uh, yeah it's the it's a built apocalypse Berg it, I don't have a box I have instructions it's been built once and then it's sat, so I've been dusting it. 
Um, it probably needs to have some bits taken apart and cleaned a little bit, but it's been dusted. So, I mean, it's, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I think it, uh, even a put together one with everything included, 480, 450, 480, there's some higher um, priced ones on average on Bricklink going for like 520 or something, but I don't, they, I think they've probably been sitting there for a while. So the Mac Anthem I think is less interesting to people because it's all Technic and there aren't that many like system pieces and there's only really like the, the tile, the uh, Mac tile that's a printed piece and then that gold dog that sits on the hood. So that's, it's gonna be a harder sell. I think I could probably get like 140 for it, maybe. Um, so that's it. That's what's going on. Um, hopefully uh, by this time next week, um, we'll have uh, recorded maybe a podcast so we can get that going. Yeah, again. I really need, to, we really need to do that. Um, it's just been so crazy with the wedding with the wedding. Stuff. Well, there's nothing going on now. We need to do thank you notes. Yeah. And if each of us took a little more, a little less time to watch TV and play video games, we could probably do it. But I have a whole bootleg season of Real World Chicago to watch. I shouldn't say that. I'm just kidding. I don't have a bootleg season of anything. It doesn't, what, what are you going to think? The feds are watching this? MTV Viacom may be watching it. Oh, yeah. They're gonna, Viacom's going to shut my little stream down. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you for hanging out with us. And, Thanks, um, guys. We'll see you Thursday. Or I'll, I'll see you Thursday. She probably Probably won't. not. I'll probably be watching Real World. Yeah, so uh, we'll sleepy. do some design stuff. Bring some design aesthetics. Bring a drink. Hang out. And I'll see you Thursday. And everybody have a good rest of your week. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.